G'day and welcome back to another episode of Tomo's Tune-Ups. On this episode, I'm gonna show you how to install a set of ARP head studs and nuts. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump straight into the episode. So we have here a set of ARP bolts and studs, or studs and nuts, depends what's in there. This is a nine piece kit designed for an A series engine. So this is a build that we have going on and you can check out the link in the description above going back to the Morris and every single step of the way of us building the engine. So let's open this up and see what we have in there. ARP are the world leader in fastener technology. So if you're looking to upgrade your engine, you're pulling the cylinder head off because you want to replace the head gasket, you need to do a refurb, hell, you might even be making a race engine, ARP are the way to go. Right, so it is worthwhile noting that every single kit is different. So depending on what you're doing, you need to make sure that you get the right kit to suit you. So inside the box are a set of instructions. Don't throw them out as we're gonna need those later. So we have a heap of sanded washers, we have uh, double hex nuts. We have some smaller nuts and washers. They're for the rocker gear assembly. We have two different size studs. So we have the shorter one and of course we have the longer one. So these are the studs we're going to be using. As you can see, it has a shorter coarser thread at the bottom and a longer finer thread at the top. So the coarser thread is the one that's going into the block. Now before you attack this, make sure that you clean down the deck, so this surface just here, and clean out any debris inside the threaded holes in which we're going to be placing the studs. Now, at the top of it, you probably can't see, but it does have an Allen key. So we're gonna use that Allen key to be able to tighten up the studs. Now, I couldn't find exactly what the torque setting is for the studs, but generally you just do them up as tight as you feel necessary. But also remember that the Allen key in the top is only either a four or a five mil. So it's not gonna be an abundance of torque. It's not like a set of wheels where it might be, you know, 110 newton meters, but you probably find it'll be about 15 newton meters. So generally I'll just tighten it up until I feel satisfied with it. So before we start, you wanna be grabbing the assembly lube. What we're gonna be doing is just squeezing out just a little bit and putting it on the threaded section at the bottom. Now, you don't need a great deal, only because as you want it in, it's going to install it and it's gonna work itself all up there. I generally just put a little bit on my finger, wrap it around there, so that way the stud is completely covered and then we're gonna wind it in to the block. So you can gently do it up by hand and push it as far as it will go before it starts bottoming out and then you can tighten it up. Now, another thing about bottoming out is you need to make sure that it is not bottoming out before it gets to the bottom. So we still have another probably full thread here. We just have to make sure that it is not reached the bottom before we can actually tighten up. If it does, we're gonna have a bad time. So I've just grabbed myself a four mil Allen key and I'm just gonna tighten that up until I feel satisfied with it. Maybe someone in the comment section or even ARP can comment as to how tight these studs need to go before it starts to round. Because what you'll find is as you go to tighten up, if you over tighten it, it'll start to strip at the top, meaning that you won't be able to tighten up to its full potential. So once you've installed one, then go and install the rest of them. All right, so for all those A-series enthusiasts out there, probably noticed that I just put the wrong stud in the wrong hole. Essentially, you need to run the longer studs at the back of the engine, so towards the inlet and exhaust manifold, and the shorter studs at the front of the engine where the distributor is. So next step is to install the head gasket. This one in particular is labeled and denotes which way is up, and also which one goes towards the front of the engine. So which one of these markings? Once again, comes with a set of instructions. Once it's been three days open it, she is ready to rock and roll. So as I said, this one denotes which one goes to the front and which side faces up. So this side here, that's got the blue tinge on it, is gonna be facing up. This part here, it actually says front. So we're gonna be facing that towards the harmonic balancer, which is where the front crank pulley is. That one's gonna sit directly down there like that. And then we're just gonna slide it down there, just so it lines up, and away we go. Now, before you install a head gasket, make sure that the head and the block is nice and clean, along with any debris that's been on there has been completely removed. Next step is to grab the cylinder head, line it up nice and easy with all the holes, slide it on down, don't force it, just let it sit in its natural home. 
Next thing is to install the nuts and the washers along the front and the back. All right, so like I said, there are two different size nuts and washers. So the smaller packet goes on the rocker gear assembly, which is at the back here, and then the larger ones go on all of the others. Well, folks, that's it for this episode. I decided I'm gonna cut it short only because I do need to install the rocker gear. Before we do that, we need to install the camshaft, the cam followers, the thrust plate, the front engine plate, along with the oil pump and the push rods before we can install the rocker gear and then we can install the remaining cylinder head nuts and washers. So stay tuned for the next part in which we're gonna be installing the camshaft. And then after that, we're then going to be tightening up the cylinder head with the new rocker gear assembly. I hope you guys learned something. There's plenty on this series coming up, so make sure you stay tuned. And we'll see you right here on another episode of Tomo's Tune-Ups.